What is up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one's probably not gonna be all that quick. This is really kind of based for anybody who's trying to decide, maybe you're just getting into the 24s and you wanna know, should you get the Axial SCX24 or the FMS SCX24? Or maybe you just have a couple of these and you're thinking about buying another one, but thought you may pick up one of these to test out. What should you do? So these are kind of gonna appeal to a couple different people in my opinion let's say let's take this truck right here for example this is my father-in-law's truck and he's the type that he gets something and he wants to do the bare minimum to it honestly he just wants to run it and enjoy it now he has changed the wheels and tires on this i put the stocks back on because we're going to drive these a little bit and i thought that'd be more fair this kind of the way it comes this completely stock so um these out of the box in a matter of a week yeah, if it lasts that long you're going to need a servo uh, you can take the arm off glue it you can put a spacer in there where the little spring is uh, on the servo saver you can do a lot of things but that stock servo is not going to last long it's just going to die so this one does have an emac servo in it because he had no choice his died the steering links normally have this horrible slop like just flopping around everywhere you can see he has some little plastic washers we cut and slipped in there that really stiffened it all up so it works. And that's really all he's done to this one. But now, if he was buying a truck today, I would 100% tell him to go this route. Because he could get this and do absolutely nothing to it and have a better truck, in my opinion. Now, the reason I say that is because this thing out of the box is amazing. The servos on it are really good. Probably better than this Emax, honestly. Uh, I mean, it's close, but I would probably take these over the Emax. Uh, you have the two speed, so tons of speed. <laughs> like, there's no issues with getting speed. So you have a, a really good slow crawl, in my opinion, for stock way better than a version one, which is what in the uh, ESC, which is what in this. What's in this, the version one, this old uh, black one, which is don't even have the sticker anymore, but um, the slow crawl on this is way better than this. And we'll, we'll compare that in a second. And then, you know, you're gonna get portal gears, which is, you know, whichever way you wanna look at it, good or bad. I'm not a big fan of portal gears. We'll go ahead and talk about that real quick at this scale. But these, I like. They work. I don't know what it is just with this truck. It, it works. Now, you can see some of the SCX24 portal gears they have. I just don't feel like you gain all that much out of these. Uh, you know, maybe the clearance is around the same. But for one, I prefer plastic. Honestly, it slides over the rock better. And we just have a lot of issues with the portals on these. These are the RC all-wheel drives. Everybody's always breaking the CVDs in these. Here are the Panda portals. This is the front off of one of the Pandas, which is really pretty similar to this, in my opinion. I put that big nasty diff cover on there i hate those i don't normally grind the edges off but uh that was all i had you know i just don't i don't know these have been okay i'm running the rear on one of these rigs and then the mofos are like an add-on to the stock axle or you can put a full housing on there but uh these i have major binding this front won't even turn so that's why those are in the parts bin here's one of the rc all-wheel drives that the screws broke off in here so you know we just well and i actually broke that cvd also well i changed it out for one of them but you know the portals on everything else have had a lot of issues now i did strip a portal gear on this as well so that's not bulletproof so uh, hopefully they're going to be bringing metal gears for these i was able for anybody that watches the channel regularly i was able to get in touch with fms they're sending me a gear and then i actually was able to order 
a few more and ordered some extra parts and stuff. So that stuff is coming in now. Uh, at first we had, we didn't have anywhere to get the parts for that. So as long as they continue down the road with offering parts and we get upgrades, which I have a few aftermarket things on the way for this already. So I think people are going to be jumping on that. So that's where I'm going to get to. If you're the type of person that wants to get one of these and just go nuts with it, like you want to completely mod it out, you know, you want to do something like this with a different chassis and, you know, a little bit of everything, or you want to go like rock bouncer, big brushless motors, uh, or you want to go a portal rig with like a custom chassis. This is the killer chassis on here. We have this new one up here that's kind of teasing a little bit. This is a brand new build, brand new build. I don't even have my body painted yet. Everything on this is custom, built from the ground up. Besides the axle housings, I left the plastic. I like the plastic axle housings. I have ran this for just a minute, but I'm waiting on my body to get done. If I can get in gear and paint that. But if you want to go completely custom like that, then you're going to want to go this route right now at the time of this video because there is so much offered for these now like everybody and their brother makes stuff for the scx 24 like it's to the point now there's so many chassis and stuff it's like really there's another one uh because there's like two and three of basically everything or ten just somebody else slaps their name on it and sells it but for this you know we really don't have anything yet uh, I do have a couple things coming for it that I'm not giving away. You'll have to stay tuned. But uh, that's it that I really know of yet. Now, there are people hard at work trying to make things for this. But, you know, honestly, this don't need anything. Like, you know, I see a lot of people who are talking about switching a motor into this and doing this and that. Until, like, there's an easy mount that I can just throw a motor in here to test it out. I'm not bothering with this. Like, I'm not gonna take the time to go 3D, uh, you know, try to design something myself or make shift like a mount or something or find another motor that fits. I'm not doing it because this thing, it don't even need it in my opinion. Like, I could get this and just run it exactly as it is with, I mean, basically this truck right here, I'm not even worried about touching this thing anymore at the moment. I mean, I may make a bed for it, but that's really, that's all I would even need to do to one. Uh, I'm going to change for some high clearance front links, but you can see I got high clearance rears. That thing has got so much clearance. Look at that. It's stretched. It's unbelievable. It goes really, really well. And it's all stock besides the little bit of stuff I did there. So it's really kind of preference. I mean, maybe some people don't like the look of this. There are more, you know, uh, I guess body style options, cages and stuff for this. Now you can make most bodies fit this. And that was something I was gonna talk about. A lot of people kind of wondering the size between these two, the cab is basically the exact same thing uh, as far as size on this Atlas. This SCX24 here that I built, a while, like a year and a half ago. This is a Atlas body that I bought and painted. You can see it's basically the same size. So just a little more detail to this one. So these are kind of oversized bodies. This is kind of like an 18th scale, honestly. When you compare it to a stock SCX24, you can see the width. Really, the width especially is where it's just massive. But that makes this straight out of the box a little more capable because it's side hills better and everything being wider. It's kind of like buying a Capra. If anybody has a, a Capra versus, you know, some of the other crawlers out of the box because the Capra's so wide, it does better. Now the length is close on these. Uh, you just have the bigger tires on the FMS. But, uh, so this thing comes with just this basic uh, remote here. I, I like that it has the base, whereas the FMS, this is for the 
SCX24. The FMS comes with this rig, which don't have a base, so you can lay it like that sometimes, or you just have to lay it down. But uh, as far as features, this has way more. This is just, you're on off. Uh, you have a channel three switch here. If you want to um, plug anything into the channel three, I've put lights on that to where you can flip them on and off and that sort of thing. Uh, just your channel one reverse. And then you have a low, medium and high. Honestly, I never used that with these because this motor is so weak. The stock motor is just so weak that if you put it in anything but high, it just don't really do anything. Um, you have a dual rate for your steering, which is kind of like your percentage. And uh, then your, your uh, trim to adjust the center of your steering. Now this has, you have out of the box, it has your gearing is here so low and then like a neutral for the um, transmission and then a high and then you have your lights are on this switch and then you have all of these have different controls in the book I had to look those up to fully understand everything all i know is like the three and four if you switch those up you have like some drag brake so we'll check that out in a minute. And then you have steering dual rate, steering trim, throttle dual rate, throttle trim, blah, blah, blah. Most people are not too worried about that. But out of the box, like this thing has a two speed transmission. The servos are good. Everything was set up good to go on mine too. Like the transmission shifts perfect. And, you know, I, I kind of figured there would be some issues with shifting the transmission because it's just a lot for them. Well, that got left on. It's a lot for them to get right from the factory. Okay, so I have these two powered up now. I just wanted to show you uh, kind of what we got going on here. One thing I, I did find out the first time I powered this thing up, the, um, well, Liam powered it up and then this is my first time powering it up. But so apparently he left this on, the batteries were dead. I put some different ones in there and apparently they were almost dead cause they were running it. But this thing, the servo was twitching just constantly. And I was like, man, it wasn't doing that. Like when I seen him hook it up for a second the other day, I was like, it's not doing that. It wasn't doing that. So uh, I changed the batteries in this and you can see no nervous twitch. So if you have a twitchy servo, make sure your batteries are good. Okay. So I want to compare these because this has the Emacs in it. You know, it's like a $20, $25 upgrade. Basically, if you get a name brand one and I think you can still see that this one is much faster and it has more strength to it. It just, so straight out of the box, this has a better servo than basically one that we use a lot to upgrade in this. Uh, so let's do a little slow crawl here to kind of show what they can do. I'm punching the camera. So this is in the low gear. And you can see this thing is like dang near Fury Tech freaking uh, slow crawl. That is plenty of a slow crawl. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. This thing don't really need an ESC or motor. I mean, it's never going to hurt it. But my gosh, it's good out of the box. Like, it's basically Axial version 2 ESC good. So... You know, that's another thing to look at. If you're buying a new SEX24, they do have a little bit better ESC in them now, but they still have the same basic remote. It's a little nicer, but now this is V1 ESC. For one, you can hear it. And you can feather, I mean, you know, it's it's not horrible if you're very careful with it. But it's not quite as smooth.
So right there, a lot of times, that's where you can hear that motor or the ESC whining, but the motor kind of like stalls a little and then it'll pull. See how I just kind of like jumped over that and that was not me gunning it. That's me holding the exact same pressure on the trigger and giving it a little, but you know, you can be smooth with it. It's just a lot harder and the motor will completely stall out and not pull in very tough situations. So straight out of the box, man, way better servo and low speed. Let's uh, go show the uh, high speed of these two. We'll do low gear in this, then we'll bump up to high gear and uh, get some real speed and blow this thing out of the water. But let's go check them out. All right, so here we do have Liam's stock Bronco. I kind of forgot we had this. He had it, the wheels and tires off of it and had it set in, sitting in the little scale garage. It has the V2 ESC, stock servo still, stock motor, everything 100% stock. I put the stock tires back on it. He was in the process of changing those. And really the main reason I wasn't comparing to this is because with this hard body, this big hard body, it's nowhere near as capable as one of these out of the box. So you can see the servo there. It seems okay until you put just a little bit of stress on it. And then it don't want to hard, hardly do anything, but this V2 ESC is much better than the V1. See, we get a nice slow crawl out of it. <laughs> so no complaints there on this ESC at all from me. And you get a much better transmitter with this new V2 setup. It has your steering reverse as well as throttle reverse. So a lot of times people would change the motor in the SCX24 and then they would find that forward was reverse. And so they had to, we had to change the wires around. Now you got a switch on here so you can just switch it. Uh, steering trim, throttle trim, steering dual rate. And then you do have your channel three and four switches down here, which are nice. So your channel three works your headlights. So you can switch those straight out of the box. That's nice. And then we have an extra channel four switch here. So they have stepped up a little bit on this uh, as far as ESC and transmitter goes, but that's about it. I'm hoping this truck pushes them to do something new with like chassis design and transmission and all that stuff. Maybe I wouldn't mind getting away from the portal gears, honestly. So new axles and everything. But you can see it's pretty dang good slow crawl out of the box, not bad. Uh, so the V2 is much better. I just was mostly comparing the dead boat because like I said, this really won't do anything out of the box. <laughs> the way it is, it won't climb anything. It just flips. Anybody with the Bronco knows you have to add a ton of weight to this thing to get it to do anything. All right, so we got them both lined up. We're in low gear here. So SCX24, much faster in your regular low gear. And honestly, it's probably because there's uh, gear reduction in those portals. I don't know how much, but I'm pretty sure there is. So let's line them back up here. Now we're gonna switch this thing into high gear. Gone. So, you have that wheel speed when you need it. And then with the switch, you have a really good slow crawl. Now you could argue it'd be nice to have a little more wheel speed here, but if you really need to launch up something and you need that much wheel speed, just shift it over. So let's check our turning radius. All right, so we're gonna start here, squared up. 
at the back of the board, cut the wheel, and see where we end up. So I marked the center of the tire there so we can see where we were with this one. So now we're gonna start with the SCX24. We have the dual rate all the way up, so max steering, which most of the time you can't get away with because you lose a dog bone, but we're gonna do it for this. Look at that, a better turning radius even. So here is the mark where the center of the tire was for the FMS, and there's where the SH24. So we got close to three inches there. That's crazy for portal gears, but there are CVDs in there which allow better turning than the dog bones. Are we going to try? couple climbs here on the new course just because I'm curious if this SCX24 can make it up this it's a long drop so I'm trying to make sure it don't fall but it's just not gonna make that. Now, maybe if his shocks were in a stock location, that would hold down a little more, but still don't have the traction or wheel speed to get up that. Maybe with just a little bit of help, a little bit of weight. But let's see what the stock truck here can do. Now in low, we're not gonna have a chance. We can also turn on our drag brake so we don't roll back down that hill. So anybody that don't know, see how that holds? It has the drag brake. Now the SCX24 runs worm gears in the axles, which does that for you. But if you turn it off here, that thing's not gonna hold itself. It's gonna more roll, okay? So it's gonna kind of roll back on you. So it's not going to make it in low gear, but watch this. That's crazy. The wheel speed that thing has and high. So it seems like you really want three and four on these switches on because in high gear, it don't really hold itself very much at all but with both of those on you can see it kind of does watch I'll, I'll pull up and it slowly rolls back okay let's turn the number four off see it how it rolls back quicker so the, the manual tells the percentages of what that is I think both on like that's supposed to be 100% maybe but in high gear of course it's not going to hold very well now you put it in low and it's not going anywhere. See how it holds itself? So the drag brakes are very good on this thing. The SEX24, like I said, it has the worm gears in there, so they kind of do that for it. So you're not gonna have much issue with it either. So we'll kind of side hill this, try to keep our tire as high as possible just to see what we're able to do here. Those portals, we're, we're pretty close to the crest there. You can see it's holding a pretty good angle. Oh, the bumper may have saved us. But see, having a really good servo, even though this has got a little bigger tires on it, 
You can use that servo to walk you downhill sometimes. You don't even have to use that throttle, so. Straight down it, no problem. So let's try it with the SEX24. All right, so these lights are just gonna blind you. Now you can see this thing's not as wide, so already I can tell it's not gonna go as high on this side as the FMS did, but you can always widen these, but this is straight out of the box, you know. This is not even gonna start to get anywhere near up on this hill and get as much side hill as that one did. That's about its limit right there. And this throttle is a little more jumpy. Like you can hear the motor, you can hear it, but I can't get it to do, to ease down that. And that's, it's not me doing it on purpose, I promise you. All right, so, well, for one, I don't, this is not really even holding itself. Like, it looks like it wants to go end over end already. And that's where the, the worm gears will get you a little bit because maybe you want it to free coast but it won't because those worm gears kind of lock up. We're able to make it just not quite as smooth on the throttle. And a lot of people will argue that's my trigger finger. It probably is, but hey, if one's easier than the other for me, then that's just how it is. This video is gonna get really long and I apologize. I normally set up like a, a wood ramp and do my side hill test, but it's pretty obvious right there that this thing has a lot better side hill performance out of the box. Now, obviously you can change that with a little work for the SCX24, but straight out of the box, this did much better. So I'm not gonna get the ramp out. I'm just gonna let that fly. If you guys want to see more detailed or something, you know, let me know and I'll try to let everybody see whatever they want comparing these two, but I'm trying to do a decent comparison, but not take forever. Most people don't want to sit and watch an hour long video and I'm, so I'm just not going to post something that long, like, because I know me 100%, I'm not watching probably more than three or four minutes of most stuff. But if it's really got my attention, you know, 10, 15 minutes, 20 at the most, like that's a long time. There we go, we just had to find the right spot. I caught it. We know we're up here now, let's try that. Now, you know, people will argue what's the most capable SCX24 all right, so we're gonna go around this mud right here just because these wheels do not do well in the mud. The BBs get caught between the wheel and the portal cover. And I'm pretty sure that's how I stripped my first portal gear on my other one. I did manage to fix that, I believe, as well as I have some parts on the way, but if you guys want to know how I fixed that, I may make a little video on that. Uh, a couple things to check on the FMS before you run it much. You can see nice smooth control to come down there. So now with this dead boat, you know, people will argue that it's not the most capable. Uh, some people argue it is. Uh, I really like the Gladiator, honestly, because it's so long. You add a little weight and some tires, that thing's really good. But I don't think that's gonna make that. And I have to have that back tire up over there. 
But I really just compared these two because this is the only SCX24 I had that was anywhere near being stock. You can see there the width out of the box. This thing just don't side heel. Nowhere near as good as the FMS. <laughs> and of course I can choose a little different line and make up for that. But I was trying to show basically the same line I took with the FMS. Let's see if we hang way over there. There we go. Oh, I still may have done it. It's a lot harder with this truck and the throttle is just not as good. It's a little more start, stop, start, stop. All right, so we're just gonna go through a fairly easy little line here just to kind of see how they both do. And I feel like people are going to be a little surprised that I'm kind of picking the FMS over this SCX24 for the most part. But honestly, it's just way better. And in my opinion, Axial is really going to have to step up their game if they want to keep up. You know, they kind of They've had this market just kind of cornered because everything else that's came out in the 24 scale is just not very good. You know, I've had the Enduro 24. It's okay, I guess. I've got a, a RGT or something in there. I don't even know. I got one of them free from A-Main when I ordered some stuff and I've never even used it. It's just sitting on the shelf. Uh, I have I had an old Red Cat Sumo that kind of started it off the 24 for me and uh, it was not very good and then I have one of the uh, Dash X Z2 motor on axle uh, 24s and it's it's okay but it's one of those small like N20 style motors on the axle and it's just not very fast not very strong. <laughs> So you can see that did pretty well. All right, so in my opinion, this thing, it's a better slow crawler. It's gonna be a better trail truck because you have the two speed. So if you just wanna walk along with it, you got way more speed. We're just gonna do a couple little easy lines here. Kind of see how they both do. bumper hanging up a little bit but overall this truck is so dang capable out of the box pretty smooth servos are great I just can't get over how good it is it's like for a kid <laughs> no I'm gonna I'm gonna ah! talk while you're driving so you drive that one for a minute you drove the SCX24, you've drove those a lot. Drive that one and see what you can do. All right, we got Liam. If I can calm him down and he's not running wide open in high gear, we'll see what he can do with this one. That's a wild line, dude. Can you come straight down? Oh, I think you had it if you just went straight. Look, go back up here. Let's see if you can just come straight down that. Oh, right when it starts to tip, just gun it. You ready? There you go. All right, we got me on the Gladiator, Liam on the FMS. A little one-handed driving here for me. Let's see if I can see if you can follow along with me. Position that you yeah, I know, but I want to move it along. So oh, I didn't see my front wheels going off. Ah! See ya! He gone! Oh! 
Oh, he made it. Nice. Oh, my foot. My foot left. There you go. And you're getting good with working your front wheels like that. Look. If work it, keep working that a little bit more. Sometimes it'll settle that front end down for you. There you go. Oh, your back right's gonna miss. Oh, oh. ah, <laughs> that no. is so hard. <laughs> That's some good driving though. <laughs> Left me laying. So what's a what's another positive to this truck, Liam? You can hold it from the back. It has its own carrying handle. <laughs> See you. All right, he's gonna follow along again. All right, brother. Oh, I looked back to see if you were coming. And didn't gun it. I had to kill a bee. Ha <laughs> ha. How am I going to get out of this? So, what do you think? I think this is a little better. A little better? Yeah. Yeah, because um, remember you fell right here. Yeah. Well, and the cool thing with that, like I've been saying, is that two speed. Put it in the high gear and run it around in that gravel right there and see what you think. It's like a mini basher, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it's going through that grass. That is really thick grass. So the kids honestly never play with the SCX24 inside. They just, they don't do it. They, Liam will come out to the garage and crawl a little bit sometimes with me. My daughter never even touches them, but you can see here, Liam came out and got it and took it in the house just because he knew they could run it around a little bit with a little more speed, so they had a blast with it indoors also. All right guys, so this video is getting super long. I'm gonna try to keep it quick. I laid out probably maybe half of my 24s here, just to kind of show you. I've tried a little bit of everything. I've ran all of them. And, you know, I didn't keep all of them. I keep a big part of them. But, you know, this is the one I was trying to think of earlier, the CR24. It's basically the exact same thing as the Enduro. We haven't even ran this thing because I knew how it was going to run. <laughs> but I got it free from A-Main with some order of stuff. So uh, this is a decent, fun little rig, but it's really underpowered with those tiny motors. And other than that, you know, I always find myself just going back to the SCX24. But uh, being 100% honest, now that this is available, it's going to be very hard for me to buy an SCX24 over this. Because I have so much more fun with this. I'm just being honest. You know, you've seen there even the kids running this in the house with the, the two-speed. You can almost treat it like a little basher, too. So you get both and that's that's just added fun but you know if you're looking for a certain body or something you know like the bronco the scx24 axial has pretty much nailed that uh you know they offer plenty of different options but that's about it they haven't changed much else and you know i feel like that's because they knew they didn't have to now they're gonna have to so if you don't like this power wagon body, you may want to go with an SCX24, but you know, there are other options. We could see how some of these others maybe fit here. So 
So there's a Panda power wagon body. So you could totally make that work if you really liked it. I mean, it's almost a perfect fit. You've got a deadbolt body here. Let's see. You could easily slap the deadbolt body on it, which I'm kind of tired of looking at that body, but. And there's a C10 body. Fits perfect. So really easy to just change a body. So no issues there, honestly, if you are wanting to swap it up. I have a Jeep body around here somewhere, but I can't find it. So in my opinion, I would start here. That's just how it goes. Now, we need some metal gears for this. Once that's done, it's game over. I'll, I would not pick the SCX24 ever, basically. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to buy the SCX24s when they come out with new ones because I'm going to review them and check them out. But for me personally, I would go this route every time. And that's just me being honest. You know, a lot of people are probably not going to like that. But the SCX24 has been around for a while, you got to think. Eventually, there's going to be a new kid in town. So uh, I feel like this is it. I don't think this thing is going to fizzle out. It's so good out of the box that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to realize that. And a lot of people are going to want to make upgrades for it because they know there's going to be a lot of these sold. So with that being said, you know, this does have all the ball bearings all throughout it, unlike the Panda. You know, that was a big issue with it. You had to buy a $35 bearing kit right out of the gate to get it to run smooth at all. This is smooth. No issues with anything binding. I mean, the shocks even work pretty good out of the box. And it's just a good truck, like honestly. Out of the gate, no doubt my pick. So you guys let me know what you think. It's probably not what everybody thought I was going to say, but it is what it is. I'll link all my favorite upgrades in the description and these, all of these trucks as well. So anything purchased through the links really helps out the channel, and I just uh, appreciate it so much. Uh, I do have one of these coming from FMS. So for my 10K giveaway, we're going to give away one of these and a few other things. So you definitely want to click the bell. Stay tuned. Hopefully we're going to hit the 10K today. So <laughs> that's unbelievable. Cannot believe that. And if you guys stuck around for this long, you're the best. I appreciate you so much. And let me know if you need anything. Peace.